Hey guys, welcome back and today I'm going to be giving you a two week update since I got full of an upper denture and a lower partial. I'm going to detail why this is not in my mouth in just a minute. So I'm two weeks out. I'm feeling good. I'm not in much pain at all. Um, the only pain that I am in at all is from... Um, just like a tenderness on my gums where they're healing it's almost like a bruise if someone touches a bruise that you've had that's kind of what my dentures feel like when I'm putting them in and kind of pushing them up in the morning um, to hold the adhesive and um, then just a few sore spots and my sore spots don't usually bother me until later in the day um, and like right now I have one like right here and I think it's just because food has gotten down in there where the adhesive is kind of wearing off and um it's bothering me a little bit um but not really usually if i just like move my mouth in a certain way um but not a whole lot of pain which is good um eating wise i'm eating great um i did go and get my partial last thursday and i was really excited because i was having trouble eating because everything I ate, my lower, my, my back of my top denture wanted to fall down because I do not have anything down here. So I was really excited to go pick this up. And sadly, um, this little guy right here and this little tooth right here didn't get along very well. Um, it's very snug and it fits really, really good, which he said it was great. But um, I went back. Uh, I started having pain in my tooth, and um, especially after I ate with it the second day. I wore it for a few hours the first day and had just a little discomfort. And then the second day, when I was eating, it was a little bit worse. So, so I was like, I'm not going to wear this. This is not right. I have something wrong with my tooth, which it still may be. But um, when I went back yesterday she um looked at it and she was like it fits really good and she said what i don't want to do is mess up and um, ruin it because that would be bad and so she said to wear it for tw uh, 48 hours straight and if it starts getting better after the 48 hours it's probably something similar to like getting your braces adjusted um, she said this tooth has probably just shifted just a little bit because it's so used to being alone and the freedom kind of move around. So, um, it's kind of, she said it's kind of similar to that of getting your braces tightened. If you've ever had braces, I have not. Um, so that, like getting your braces tightened and they're, you're usually sore for about a week. Um, so I'm going to try that. I'm, I'm going to think tomorrow um, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and um, they're not open on Friday, so I would have to go in Monday or Tuesday to get any adjustments done on that if I wanted to. Um, she did say I could use pain medicine, and I would also recommend, just because of how I felt, um, to eat like soft food. So I'm kind of like, that's the only reason I'm not, because I'm so used to eating semi-normal again, that I do not want to be in pain and have to be like grinding my food up again um like I was doing last week so um that's the the biggest thing for this um there was like she said this tooth was a little forward and um she said that was normal because uh, of your bite they don't want it to fit sit weird when you bite or something um uh, looks wise I don't like it um, I do see a lot of metal I'm not gonna put it in because I just got this out of the solution I haven't rinsed it off real um, but it is um, I did like eating with it before um, before it started hurting me um, I might use a little adhesive on this side but with this it tightens around this tooth very well it's very snug um, and it's actually pretty hard to remove um, but, you know, I'm just going to have to live with that pain for a couple days, I guess. Um, and hopefully that's all that it is. And um, I don't have any issues with that tooth because that's like the last thing I want to have done. Um, she still, I was like, I regret not getting the one that is just all this gum color. It's like a, it snaps in around your thing. And she said it's actually tighter 
um, the the other one is actually tighter um, because of how it has to hold or something. And I was like, well, I still feel like the other one would have been better. Um, plus, I don't like all the metal showing. Um, so I kind of wish they wouldn't have talked me out of that one. Because um, it was only like $150 more. Um, and it was not a price issue. She just suggested this one would be better as far as eating and, and the everyday wear of it. And it not moving around and hurting. So, we'll just have to see. Um, I do talk funny with it in. My tongue kind of doesn't know where to go. <laughs> um, but we'll talk more about that whenever I put that in. Um, and actually wear it for a little while. So, the biggest thing is eating. Um, I have been eating very well. And that's because of my great adhesives. I've been using the C-Bond strips. Um, not really strips. They're like the palette. You know, the big things. And then the um, Secure Paste. So, um, you know, I got completely threw out all the fixing I had. Um, I was so terrified of swallowing it um, because it was constantly, like, by the end of the day, it was, like, gooping out, like, because it would just turn to mush, and it was gooping out, and I was having to spit, and I just didn't like it. Um, plus, the taste is horrible. So, I was like, I'm going to use the seat secure anyway. I don't know why I'm using this fix it in. Because I felt like this fix didn't work really good this first couple times when I just had to put a little drop on the palette um, before anything else was healed. I don't know. I don't know how that kind of... I feel like the Secure is definitely better now. Um, so I'm going to do a video actually comparing the Secure and Seabond because I feel like those are two very popular options and uh, choices for people. And um, in the beginning of stages of healing, your it, adhesive is going to be different than somebody that's, you know, has their permanence or even uh, two weeks down the line or four weeks down the line. Everybody's is going to be different. Um, and you're probably going to be changing it that often as well. So I'm going to do a video of what I think my pros and cons were. Um, I've tried both different days, different times of day. Um, right now, I actually have both in, so I'm going to kind of give you a rundown of why and why I've got both of them in and all that in another video. Um, you know, I did talk pain, um, which has not been a big thing at all. Um, I've not really been in any pain. I've been sleeping with them out. The biggest thing is just allotting myself that time in, before bed and in the morning to properly clean them. I'm kind of a germ freak and I don't want to get thrush or anything crazy. Um, so we think we put stuff in our mouth all day long. Um, I used to bite my nails and I can't bite my nails no more because it just feels weird, um, which is a good thing. But, um, you know, we're always like putting stuff in our mouth and don't give it no second thought. Um, but for some reason, when I put this in, I want it perfectly clean and germ free so i've been washing it with dawn i've been soaking it overnight and then i wake up and i wash it with dawn before i put it in my mouth or the denture bright um paste washy stuff whatever um i have you know had to take that out with me in public so i put me together a little bag that i can take with me i just be careful not to leave it in the car with my secure adhesive in it um in case you know I needed it and I don't want it to melt in the hot sun so um, or freeze if you're in somewhere that's colder um, because I'm pretty sure it would be temperature um, sensitive um, something that um, I noticed with these and it kind of helped me realize how I want my permanence. And the, I'm sure I'll talk more about this later. But I couldn't just figure out why I didn't like these. I was like, when I smile a certain way, they just look fake. They just look fake to me. As I can go throughout the day and I don't even think about them most of the time. But sometimes when I smile like a, like a cheese smile. Like, you know, saying cheese. <laughs> um, I feel like they're, um, sorry. I feel like they look really fake. I feel very chiclet, chiclet teeth up here. Um, and that's because, this helped me realize it, because they don't have these ridges that, um, 
your permanents will have. They're very just straight. There's no ridges on these at all. Um, now under here, you know, my molars have like that little detail on the bottom. But on the side, they're just smooth as can be. Whereas these have little dents and imperfections that they've put on them that would give a tooth um, natu a natural appearance. Um, so that's the only thing that I'm, you know, thinking of right now as far as when I get my permanents, what I want them to look like. I still don't know if I'm going to go through my dentist's office. Um, just because it's been such a hassle going down there, I don't know. The only thing is, is I know that I can go down there and get these adjusted and I can get my hard lip reline in six months and I have, you know, free adjustments until then. And then when I get my hard reline, I don't think they do any more after that unless I purchase something else. So if I purchase the ones that I want to get, um, through them, I have free adjustments for 18 months. So, but since they don't do soft relines, that kind of worries me purchasing them through them. And, um, I'm kind of leaning towards Russell Klein. That's what kind of gave me the um, boost that I wanted to get um, to get dentures instead of implants was seeing um, Russell Klein videos on YouTube um, when I was searching, you know, people getting their dentures. And um, I love Russell Klein's work. And I've actually spoke to him several months ago when I was pregnant about doing my immediates. So now I'm kind of thinking, well... 400 and something dollars 500 dollars for an upper from him would be a lot cheaper than having to go and get 1200 and 1300 dollars for an upper through them so um i think i think that's what i'm leaning towards but i'll talk more about that later i'm just kind of looking ahead to the future because i've kind of got a grasp on what i'm looking for and why i don't like these right now other than that i love them it's kind of different smiling. Um, eating is, is great with my adhesive. So I don't I don't really think about eating much. Um, the, the only thing I haven't been able to eat is pizza. Um, like Little Caesars pizza we got it the other night. And I couldn't chew the dough, the pepperonis, or the um, cheese on top. <laughs> so um, it was actually one of the stuffed crust ones. And I could eat the stuffed crust in the the cheese in the middle of the stuffed crust um but even cutting that up that dough up that pizza dough i could not eat it i'm sure the pepperoni and cheese i could have um because i've ate cheesy stuff but um for some reason that pizza was just not agreeing with me and i ended up having to like fix soup or something because everybody else ate, ate pizza i did eat a sandwich which surprised me and like really just was a big weight lifted off my shoulders because everybody was like you can't eat white bread and you can't eat deli meat and all this. So I have like deli meat from the deli counter. I like them to shave it thin anyway. Um, so I got some shaved thin, like falling apart turkey breast and packed it on my sandwich like this thick with cheese and mayonnaise, mustard and white bread <laughs> and um, ate it fine no problems at all. I actually took it to our homeschool co-op for lunch and ate it in front of other people. So, um, I was that confident and, um, it's been good. So I've ate liver mush sandwiches, totally a Southern thing, totally a, um, Western North Carolina thing probably. <laughs> but, um, if you know what liver mush is, um, I think some people call it scrapple. Um, so it's been a really good meat to eat. Um, I ate a Philly cheesesteak, an onion sandwich. I can eat cheeseburgers. Great. Uh, fig bars. I've ate and not had any issues, um, which I had before. Um, and that's all without my lowers in. That's just my top with adhesive. So, um, I'm really excited to eat with that thing, um, uh, once I get it situated. But, um, there was something else that I had tried. Um, you know, sticky stuff, you can kind of tell. The fig bars were a little, because they're really big and um, they're organic. So they kind of have bigger, bigger grains because they're like whole grain and stuff. But um, 
I really didn't, I, what I would do instead of biting it, and I could bite it, but by the time I was done, by the time I'm done eating a fig bar, which is like this, um, and if I was biting into it, um, I can tell that it loosens my adhesive, especially if it's later in the day. So whenever I would eat it, I would actually tear pieces off and chew them, and that was just easier um, as far as making my adhesive last. I mean, I could physically do it, but it was just better for me to just tear it in pieces. Um, I found that also with the first time I ate a sandwich and um, meatloaf, you know, I had to, even though it was pretty soft, I still had to like cut it. Macaroni noodles is another thing I have issues with, so I still have to mash those up kind of. Um, but rice, um, any other, probably any vegetable I have to kind of mash up, um, cooked or not. Um, but it's fine. I don't mind too. I ate cream corn. We've ate cream corn several times in the last two weeks. Um, but it's, you know, it's delicious. So it's fine. Um, but you know, it's, it's just kind of a learning process. Spaghetti, I would say, I haven't had it again since that first week, but I would say I would just kind of cut it up like I normally do. Um, for myself and eat it fine because I can eat, I can eat a burger. Um, I can bite into anything pretty well. Uh, I feel like when I get this partial in, I'll be able to bite into something pretty, really, really good. But I just try to bite over here using this area. That way, um, I don't loosen it. You're not supposed to bite with these anyway. <laughs> So I'm not made for that. Um, you can chew with dentures, but you're not supposed to use them to bite into things because they're acrylic and they can break. So, warning there. <laughs> uh, but, you know, people are going to do it. You're going to bite into a burger and a sandwich and things. So I just try to put it over here or just tear it in a little bit smaller piece and maybe take a bite off that smaller piece. Um, which has been fine. But I've not had any issues. No more cutting up big you know burgers or anything like that um a hot dog i'm gonna try a hot dog and i think i might try that this weekend if this partial doesn't hurt me too well too bad um but that's it that's um my two week update that's all i have to say watch for these other videos the secure versus c bond um i'm gonna get some organization going for my stuff i still haven't done that um <laughs> And then, you know, I'll give you an update on my partial, how it's going, and kind of go into more detail about that in another video. Don't forget to hit subscribe and help me out. I need to reach a thousand subscribers before YouTube's going to let me monetize these videos. Um, this is how I make my living on YouTube, and I have another channel, and it kind of just stinks. So, um, that they've had that new rule put in. My views are great. I have so many views, guys. Thank you all for watching. Um, but just help me out and hit subscribe so I can get to that thousand subscribers really quick. And once I'm there, it, it doesn't matter. I don't need more. Um, but I do um, hope that, you know, I'm helping you with these videos. And I will make videos on anything you want to see, whether you're new or you've done a thousand videos yourself. Um, if there's anything you want to see me do or my view on something, I'm happy to share that, so don't forget to hit subscribe just so you can see my videos upcoming and um, kind of stay in touch and help me out. And I'm going to do a giveaway. I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to give away, but when I do hit that thousand subscribers, I am going to give away something um, to obviously a denture wearer or a potential denture wearer. <laughs> um, so kind of like a little goodie basket. So if you... Um, have any friends you know don't forget to share and um help me kind of get to that and you will be entered to win all my subscribers will be entered to win so um have a great day guys don't forget to check back hopefully i'll have another video up tomorrow i know i've been slack um it's just been a really busy time and i hope to see you guys soon bye